hey y'all welcome back to another video today i want to do a story time and as you can see by the title it's about um i had went on a double date with my friend you can say it was a date you can say it wasn't a date but it was basically a date i mean out of respect it might might as well have been a date okay so it was a saturday basically and it was the day of the taco festival on 4th street live in louisville so um we ended up going and sadly i was gonna be by myself because like i haven't been entertaining nobody for real and my friend was with her dude but i didn't mind being i guess you could say third wheel or by myself because i knew other people was going to be up there at first all his friends were about to go back to college i guess they was just like visiting for the fall or whatever so one of his friends stayed back so her dude ended up leaving the festival to go get the dude and brought him back. So I'm damn near about to be two drinks in, but we really didn't get to do much because we didn't have the little card. We had just got our two margaritas and then they came to the festival. So then I turn around, I'm like, damn, like he's tall as fuck. And her dude tall too, but this nigga tall, like for me personally, you standing next to me, like you tall as fuck. I'm not no awkward, you know, person. I can make it bold. So I'm like, hey, what's your name? You know, how old are you? What you do? So he tells me. Um, tall dude really was a year younger than me. So I'm like, okay. Which is weird because he's tall dude. Like, how are you a year younger than me? And he wasn't from here. So I'm like, okay, this is different. Like, you're not from here. You're tall, chocolate. You're not ugly. Like, okay. But once again, it really wasn't supposed to be like a date. He's supposed to just be there. So we ended up leaving. And they're like, what y'all want to do? So me and her knew like we really wanted to go to a haunted house later on or whatever. But for the moment, we was like, ooh, we should go go-karting or something. Because it was still light outside. Not knowing that they really about to close in the next few hours. So we like, okay. They suggest Dave and Buster's. I guess, you know, it's college students that go there a lot. I really don't know. Yeah, I'm used to going to like round one or um what's that place called malibu jacks stuff like that i'm not really used to like dave and busters that reminds me of like main event in my head it always used to be too expensive and you would always need a group so i never used to really go there a lot that's where they suggested to go because i guess it's where they used to go in and where he's from because he's not from here remember they um go there a lot so he had already had a card on him with points and stuff on it and everything we get to order in and you could tell dude wasn't too fond of me getting um what did i have a bloody mary like a little alcohol drink i'm not gonna order water because you want me to get it and little did i know at this point he was gonna pay for the food <laughs> i really did so i'm sitting here ordering stuff he's like you know you should get a salad and i'm like a salad like i eat salad but why would i get a salad at dave and buster's like what do i look plus i'm hungry like no so soon my friend she was even like a salad so he looks up from the menu and he's just staring at her like really are you for real like i get what i want to eat so and i definitely didn't want no water at the time and i definitely well i did have a water next to my drink you could tell he's like a drink so then the waiter brings all our drinks. The conversation's cool, it's good. You know, I just didn't want it to be awkward. And I know how to, you know, make it comfortable as long as the other person can. So we just talking about our favorite songs and artists and what we like to do. I really didn't eat much of it. It was just too much sauce. So he's like, yeah, you should have got this. You should have got that. So once I finish my drink, I'm like, maybe I should get another drink. He's like, no. Nah. Like he's already really judging me. And that's just pissing me off too. He's suggesting what I should get. Be not liking that I smoke or that I drink. But it'd be shit like, like that. Like, I already be knowing, like, 10 steps ahead type stuff. So then everybody else got their food and drinks, and they ended up eating and drinking. So he just whips out his car. Like, he's going to pay. And I didn't even, like, realize at the time. Maybe I'm zoned out, like, I'm too lit. But that's going to be a big factor at the end, so stay tuned. So everything's cool. We all go to play games. It gets competitive. It's fun. We all enjoy ourselves. Feeling like, you know, it's the real deal. But the vibes was good. We did like multiplayer games where we all four like played shooting games and we got on the motorcycle and shit. We played basketball. I whooped his ass in almost every game though. Then when it comes to the nighttime, we all want to go to a haunted house, like I said. But you can tell the guys weren't trying to or they didn't really want to the funds for that which was under 
understandable. Like, that's cool. Nobody was really trying to be vocal about that. So we kind of had to read between the lines. And we just like, let's go. But before we left, my friend ended up losing her wallet. So <laughs> we had to help her find that, which is funny because she loses every fucking thing. Don't put that shit. She loses. So when we got in the car, we pulled back up to the little dorm or whatever. This dude just hops out. He's the first one on the sidewalk so he can cross the street and go in the building. Notice my car is like next to their car. I'm about to get in my car and go home. Her dude is like, nice to meet you. He's nice, respectful. Of course, I say bye to my friend. This dude already waiting to go in the building to leave. Like, he didn't say nothing to me. They drive safe, nothing. Didn't give a high five, a hug, a wink, an elbow, nothing. Even though he, you know, it wasn't really supposed to be like my date. But like, as out of respect, like, damn, <laughs> that's cool. The next day at work, my friend tells me the true colors of really why the dude was just ready to go. Like, so he ended up telling her how, like, I wasn't his date and he wasn't supposed to pay for me and he didn't want to and he didn't want to go to a haunted house and I drank too much and how, um, like, basically how he was, I guess, set up and blindsided that he really didn't want, want to pay for nothing and how like he didn't you know enjoy the day but while we was playing games after we ate everything seemed cool i guess he was just faking everything just to get the hell out of there i got money you know i told him i had a job but with the woo don't ever think i'm leeching or trying to do that the fact he had a lot to say after the whole thing and he gonna pillow talk to my friend about it and so I'm just like, I really want to see dude in person, like, just to, you know, say something to her. She drinks too much. Just all of this, I'm like, wow, this is why you dudes, I don't know. <laughs> what? That shit was funny. And it's the fact that the whole time at the arcade, you acting like you're having a good time when you low-key is pissed off. I was like, he really said all that? And you could tell because he didn't want to say bye to me. He didn't say nothing. He was just ready to go, not have a good night, nice to meet you, nothing. So I'm like, this dude weird. And then gonna say all this stuff once we leave. Guess he's just the jerk dude. I really don't know. But that shit was just funny. I kind of forgot some of the stuff he said. But I'm like, are you serious? Because I really could have came by myself. I was here to enjoy myself. I wasn't supposed to be his company or nothing. It was the dude, dude my friend's dude, who wanted, you know, an extra person. I because I was there for her. So I'm just going to stick to what I know or what I'm used to or maybe meet a different college dude. That's my story time about a college date that went bad. Like, I thought at least, you know, he was going to, or we was going to be friends. That's what I really thought. We were going to be cool so we could all hang out again. We ain't got a date. But you over here mad about this little stuff. I would never probably even talk to you. Thank y'all for listening to my story time. If y'all like more story times, let me know. It's really like 6 in the morning and I got to go to work. So I really don't care about the dude's opinion or nobody's opinion. I could order a salad and a water today and he ain't even with me. So like, stay in your lane. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Follow my Instagram at m.chxl. And yeah, I'll be back with another video. I'm out.